Fantastic. Why are there merry Good sounds? Good morning, Meredith. It's an envelope today with an incomplete address on it. It only says Mickey in June, Lake Campground, Providence Oaks. Hmm. Do you think you can find that? Yeah, I think I know where that is. All right. Have a great I think day. It's somewhere Thanks. with the oh, lumberjack area. Frank, I wanted to ask you something. I will not babysit Mildred's cats. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's about something else. What's in those envelopes for you? Oh, that's just for stamps. Saves uh, them the hassle of uh. driving up here. Hey, I gotta get back to work. Catch you later. Morning, P.O. How about a pet peeve to start the weekend? No. Or will it be a positive? Tina Banks has the answer. P.O. Positive or pet peeve? Jack, I've had this pet peeve for years. We've got a beautiful lake and a nice boulevard, but why don't we have one of those coin-operated binoculars? Mm. I like the idea, Tina. Hmm. Let's take a closer look at today's weather now. A few yeah. clouds, but nothing but sunny skies in the end. You didn't really and answer now, the question. Music. Rude. He just like, he's like, yeah, I'm just going to avoid this question entirely and just put on music. Like, why don't we have a point operated machine? Hello? Let's see, we are at 104 West 2nd Street. I got a really tiny package in my hand. It's so tiny! Oh! Imagine if it was like tiny but very heavy. I would very much question it. Ring wrong. Nope. No answer. No one lives here. Got it. Do 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 do. Sir, I'm back. I, I, I came to give you a new letter. Beep boop. Hi, Robert. Here's the mail. Thanks, Meredith. And, um, sorry for leaving all of a sudden yesterday. It's okay. No problem. Leaking roofs don't fix themselves. Well, it was just... I needed some space. I think I've gotten a bit too used to being on my own. Okay. Was I bad company? Was I such bad company? No, no, not at all. I, I really enjoyed it. I just don't want you to feel weird about it. I was the weirdo. Okay, sure. There's nothing wrong with a little weirdness. I just wanted you to know that. Anyways, let's see what's in the mail. Let's see what it is. Rip, rip, rip. A dentist appointment. <laughs> Wait, why am I sharing that with you? So, no news regarding those apartments? Nothing. Hallelujah. This gives me a bit more peace of mind to work on my wild card plan. Okay. Good luck with that. Thanks. I am that person who will uh, eventually leave because introvert. <laughs> Just like, um, I just, hmm, woman. I remember dad telling me, Meredith, the picnic area is for the older kids. I think I was 17 when I had my first actual picnic here. It rained. <laughs> Ping. Just be you. Hello there. Hey, how are you? I may have mail for you. Is it addressed to Mickey? Or June. Or both. both. Uh, to both. Here you go. It's addressed to nobody. Oh, sweet brother Damien, savior in the hour of darkness. Never mind him. He's a bit stressed out. We were a bit low on paper. Nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Meredith. Nice to meet you too. Woo! <laughs> what kind of paper? Probably a bit of cash and some rolling paper. Ah. Ah, that kind of paper. <laughs> no harm in that. Amen, sister. Thanks for the delivery. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Nice RV, by the way. Is it yours? Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's awesome. We borrowed it. Joan, can you get in here, please? Now. Oh, that's my cue. It was nice meeting you. Sweet Meredith. That's your Can cue? you like, not tell the authorities your whole life story? Oh. 
because I would laugh. <laughs> Package. It's it's a triangle kind of. Well, it is triangled. Ish. It doesn't have a full point, but it's slanted. Bing bong. All right, I'll leave it on the doorstep. Going home. Bing bong. That's weird that's empty. Hey Lori, did you watch the love bug? Hey Miss W. Yes, I did, and I guess I liked it. Oh. You can say you loved it. Sweet. Good enough <laughs> for me. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. See? Ancient isn't all bad. You still ready for Sunday? I have never been more ready. <laughs> it's going to be rad. Yeah, totally tubular, right? Oh god, tubular. Uh, sure, Miss W. Uh, see you Sunday. <laughs> the love bug. Praise the love bug, right? No, oh, no, that's it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nothing more. Ah, uh huh. Just like we're not uh, questioning Kung Fu Kid in the Ghostbusters thing. Sorry, Ghost Blasters. Never say tubular again. Well, too bad that Ray did. <laughs> Hi, Angie. Oh, hey. So, hey, I dropped off and picked up those movies. Right, right. Oh. Um. Is everything okay? You don't seem your usual peppy self. You don't know me, Meredith, okay? This can be a stressful okay, job. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, easy there. I just did you a favor, remember? Don't be mean. Yeah, uh, actually, now's not a great time. There's two more movies on the counter. If you could deliver those, that'd be peachy. Uh-huh. Hmm. Jaws and the Dirty Dozen. I'm on it. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. Mm hmm Great. Thanks. Appreciate it. Bye. She is really... pushing off. I don't know how to say the word I'm thinking of. Like, she's really off-put. Yeah, she's kind of being a dick right now, which... Whatever, you know. She is probably stressed, but at the same time, like... I just- I want to make her happy. She- she game wife. <laughs> I will make wife. Hmm. She fell- she may- she may have fallen though Firefly was cancelled. No! I mean, to be honest, this is supposed to be in 1987. So, I don't remember, um... If and when, you know, things happened. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's a lot of chat going on. Uh, to quit your job as a postman and become a movie delivery service? Fair. Fair. Deny her herpes by giving her your own love. <laughs> oh, I haven't saved once. I should probably do that. Uh, where am I delivering this? Am I delivering it up here or downstairs? I assume downstairs. Okay. Random starfish and sponge. And all the fish. Fish is normal. But yeah, I, I don't know. It's okay. I hope she's okay and happy eventually. Mr. Mackey, I've got this movie box for you. Leave it on the porch of the cabin, could ya? Where? I need to know if you prefer a war movie or a shark movie. Huh? Movies? Uh, just pick something. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, hmm. All right. Jaws it is. Have a nice day. Is 
It's what she got for her leg movie. <laughs> hey, Em, it's me, Kay. <laughs> wow, I just, like, instantly dialed your parents' number. Superpowers! Superpowers! Probably just muscle memory or something like that, right? Or maybe it's like that thing where you smell something and it instantly triggers this mega old memory you didn't even know you had. Know what I mean? Oh man, I had that once when Barry bought me lilacs and the smell instantly mentally teleported me to when I was like six years old and fell out of a tree. <laughs> and I ended up with all this lilac smelling tree gunk all over my face. You remember that, right? What if it's like that with I... phone numbers? You go, must dial M, and then your brain just triggers your fingers to dial? Beep, 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 beep. Anyway, I uh, didn't call about that, obviously. I was thinking of maybe taking a stroll around the lake this Sunday, clear my head, and then Maureen suggested maybe you'd like to tag along. Not that I'm asking because of Maureen, of course. Just thought it might be fun to check out the old hangouts and the uh, lake site. Uh, if you do want to join, I'll be at the watchtower overlooking the lake at 11 a.m. Sunday. I'll probably hang around a bit, so I'll see you when I see you. Sunday morning watchtower. Be there or be square. <laughs> <laughs> the Countess and the Carpenter. Oh, I'm forced to read. Chapter three. Come in, were the most regretted words Cecilia had uttered in a long time. They were instantly followed up by, Get out! when she saw the surprised face of the Carpenter's apprentice, instead of her niece, Anna. Apparently, her hosts wasted no time in addressing the problem of a malfunctioning bathroom faucet. Mm. Wait, what? 